My name is Pam Venice and I am a homeowner. What started is, I've been knowing Curtis since I was a realtor, I used Curtis Owen since my teens. And I've noticed on Facebook he had been doing these seminars. And uh, one particular day I'm sitting on my bed, not date, and I'm looking at the time and I said, I looked, I said, well I have enough time to get there and everything. So I got ready and I went to the seminar and uh, that day. And my goal was just to see where I stand, what I needed to do in order to get this process going. So after the seminar, I ended up talking to Mr. O.C. with uh, Commonwealth Mortgage and uh, set up a date uh, to meet him and talk over some things. And he told me all the documentation I needed to bring. So that was in July of last year, 2016. Um, so I brought him everything he asked for, start plugging in numbers and gave him everything else and so next thing I know I'm sitting here and he turns around and tells me I've got you pre-approved and it's, it was a shock because I wasn't expecting this to happen and it just you know did because I was thinking I knew my credit score but I didn't think what it was that I would be able to. So during the process, I called Curtis and I said, well, let's begin the process of looking. Well, that was July, so we start looking and looking. And just like Ms. Faulkner, Curtis, <laughs> I had him going everywhere, doing everything or whatever else. Uh, as far as sites, you know, I had sites that I was looking at, you know, which homes and everything. And it came one process where it was one home, and I mean, it was just like, this house was the cream of the crop. I mean, it's just like they had everything laid out and looking and everything. Well, I ended up putting, a, uh, we put a contract on the house. And this particular uh, weekend, the day I put in, I had family from out of town. And my cousin made a point did you check the house? Did you I mean? Did you go around the neighborhood to check what was going? You know, see anything and everything? I said, "Oh, it's okay. We're, you know, thinking." That stuck in my head. So this particular Friday after work, I go back to where the house was, uh, look around, and the neighborhood, and I said, mm, "This ain't. This is not it." <laughs> And during the process, is we had put the contract in on the condition that they would pay the closing costs. So Curtis, they came back and they counter off and saying they would pay half. So Curtis turned around and said, well, Pam, what you want to do? I said, I'm out. I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, it was lovely and everything else. And we got to keep on looking and everything. So. This particular Curtis was, you know, trying to help and everything because at this point money had came out uh, through the Kentucky House, and, which was a grant, and $10,000. So Curtis said, Pam, you need to get a contract on a house. So during the process looking and, and I said, and I told him, I said, Curtis, I said, if it's meant for me to get this, it's meant for me to have it. If it's not, I'm not going to worry about it. So this the house I'm in now. We ended up finding that, put a contract on it, made an offer, and it got accepted with the conditions. Uh, if I get the grant, then they wouldn't have to pay the closing costs. If I didn't get the grant, they would have to pay the closing costs. Well, it happened that way. It was when we put the contract on the house, OC plugged in the, with the thing and told me, Pam, you got the grant. So that was a blessing, which I wasn't expecting. As soon as he plugged in and I got that grant, I believe it was two days later, the money was gone. Uh, so my blessing was that me getting the house, only money I came out of my pocket was to pay the inspection. My uh, money I put down on, you know, good faith for the contract. 
I ended up getting that back at closing. So during the whole process, I did not come out of any money except for, as I said, the inspection. So my blessing was the Lord guided me through this whole process. When I walked into my house, it was like, okay, I can do what I want to with it and when I want to. I do not have to ask anybody or have anybody come and say, I need you to fix this or that. But, you know, even though, like I said, when you rent, but in this case, is it was mine. Mr. Curtis Owens was a very patient person. <laughs> I know sometimes I could hear Curtis, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> but Curtis has known me long enough to know I am a very picky person and I had some things you know one of the things that we kind of class about is my son uh, still lives with me but he helps me out and contribute and like I told him I need my space <laughs> and when I mean space I needed either have a basement or somewhere he could have his own space and I have mine. And this house that I have now works out perfect. Comes through the back door, goes straight downstairs. There's another room down there for us, a bedroom, half a bath. So it worked out perfect. 